Nowadays, you see women waiting. They're waiting. Well, I want to focus on my career. I want to focus on my degree. I want to be successful. Nothing wrong with that. But what happens is they, they get to 30 and they have an epiphany. They're like, oh shit, I got to hurry up. Mm-hmm. Like we, we had a guest on here, I won't say the name, 35 years old, childless, no husband. You're at that, we, hit, we call it hitting the wall. Yeah. And then they become negative around it and start saying men are shitty, men are douchebags. And then they get in their 40s and they end up on TikTok talking shit at 40 years old, which is pointless, right? What did you do in your 20s? And this is, and this is another thing. It's interesting on planning. Watch this, Sean. And I know you get this. You talk to men, you say plan. You counsel women, plan. I ask a woman on the show, what's your two to five year plan? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. But yet you want a quality man. You're 35 years old. What, what do you feel about that hitting the wall phrase? I think it's an accurate depiction of a natural phenomenon. Um, I think that women do reach a certain point in their life where their value, when I say value, I mean value in the eyes of men specifically, does decrease when they reach a certain age. In terms of fertility, obviously you're older, you're not as attractive, but also like you've had more life experience and I think the majority of men want a woman that hasn't had a lot of life experience because they want to build that life with you. Hi gents, in today's video, I'll discuss the fate of women when they hit the wall. For those of you unfamiliar with the term, the wall refers to the point in a woman's life when her physical attractiveness begins to decline. So a woman's mental and physical foundation shifts as she enters her early 30s. Few women are prepared to face the wall. This typically hits a woman between the ages of 30 and 40. In their early 30s, many women have already accumulated over two decades worth of experience successfully attracting the attention of men. Men of all ages and socioeconomic backgrounds have shown them love and care, from those in their early 20s to those in their 60s. In their mid-20s, many women have told me they had sex with men in their 50s, but by the time they were 25, high school boys were begging to have sexual relations with them. A woman in her 20s has the potential to attract the interest of men of all ages. After the age of 30 or 35, they begin to change physically, and the men in their 20s and 30s begin to disappear in favor of younger women. It's commonly held that men of the same age group are unfair to women. Women of 35 often wonder why men their age aren't interested in dating and marrying them. The truth is that a man in his mid-30s who has a steady income and a nice car can attract women in their early 20s, even if they are younger and more attractive. Most men need at least two years of dating before they feel ready to propose and tie the knot. Therefore, if a man marries a 35-year-old woman through this procedure, she will be 38 years old after the wedding. By that time, she will have much lower chances of getting pregnant. A woman in her early 30s needs to start dating men in their late 30s, 40s, and even 50s. Many of the younger men have settled down with families, leaving only the older men on the market. Some of these men may be divorced and looking for a second wife because they already have kids from a previous relationship. In my experience, there are a few women in their mid-30s who just can't seem to accept this. They insist that the only men interested in them are those over the age of 40. Disgustingly, these sane women spent their 20s bouncing from one casual relationship to another. So far, they have no idea what went down, that they would end up here with something neither of them had ever considered. For many of these ladies, the idea that men choose partners instead of the other way around is shocking. Women have a hard time reconciling the fact that men now control the dating scene and that their pool of potential suitors has shrunk from every man on the planet to just a handful of men who have been badly hurt by women in the past. Men understand how deeply women in their 30s can feel hopeless. Women with baby rabies, or I mean women who desperately want babies, are in a much more precarious position. Since having a child is so important to them, they are willing to resort to deceptive methods, such as making numerous men believe they are taking the pill when they are not, in order to get it. In the course of three years, I met a man who fathered three children with three different women, all of whom 
in his estimation, were using contraceptives. He lives with the woman who gave birth to his third child and is supporting two of his kids. I used to think that once the friends in my social circle started having children, many other women my age would do the same. In their mid-thirties, many of the women I know who are in committed relationships have made the choice not to have children. In social groups of 10 to 15 women, it is common for members to make the decision not to start a family. Due to the fact that these 35-year-old women are still going out to clubs and bars like they did when they were in their 20s, the few women who have children are no longer welcome in this particular social circle. As a woman, I find it revolting that some women actively seek out 25-year-old men at cougar clubs. Women's self-esteem is damaged because most men in their 20s are only interested in one-night stands. Women often hit a second wall in their early to mid-40s, just as they were entering middle age. By the time they're 30, many women are no longer appealing to even the horny teens who are only interested in an intimate encounter. By that time, they've usually started to put on weight and entered menopause. Women reach reproductive age at a younger age than men typically do in their teens because doing so increases the chances of our species surviving, especially in the past when resources were scarce. Women have historically had the upper hand when it comes to having children and carrying on their own genetic lineage. Because of their early puberty, however, they also die off more quickly. Smart, hardworking, financially responsible men will only age better for women as women are naturally drawn to men who can provide for them. I have a lot of videos on how to get younger women, women that haven't hit the wall yet. Check them out, knock yourself out, also, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button to get more dope content like this. See you next time on Circle of Kings.